What's happening, Coin Fam? I'm Miser, and I make educational videos for coin collectors and coin roll hunters that want to learn how to identify rare and valuable coins in their pocket change. There are plenty of error coins and varieties that are worth collecting or flipping if you know what to look for and you have a little luck on your side. Last video, we talked about the top error coins sold by Heritage Auctions. This video, we'll talk about some of the most valuable modern error coins. The first coin we're going to take a look at is this 2016 Philadelphia Minted Quarter. This quarter doesn't just have one, it has two curved clips. It graded MS66 and sold for $69. How much can a scuffed up 2011 nickel be worth? Well, if it struck a little off center, even though it's been damaged out there in the real world and graded AU or about uncirculated, it can be worth as much as $71. Rolling right along with a nice increase in sold price, take a look at this 2015 American Eagle. If you're not familiar with American Eagles, this coin is legal tender. It's made of one ounce fine silver and the face value is $1 far less than the melt value of the silver it's made out of. This one has a mint error called a curved clip. It's not as obvious as most curved clips. You can see it at about 7 o'clock if you look at the coin as if it was the face of a clock. This error could have easily been mistaken as post-mint damage if you don't know how to identify a curved clip. This coin sold for $470. We haven't had a dime yet. How about this 2012 Philadelphia minted Roosevelt dime? This one has a mirror brockage on the reverse. If we flip it over like this, you can see another shot of Roosevelt on the reverse and in the reverse of this coin. This dime sold at auction for $564. Let's not forget about those presidential dollars. You probably won't see too many of these in pocket change, but they're definitely out there. I know for sure because I'm responsible for spending some of them around here. One of the unique characteristics of the presidential dollars is the edge lettering. Each of these coins has or is supposed to have lettering on the edge of the coin. This one doesn't. How much does a dollar coin with no edge lettering go for? How about $1,020? Next up is this 2010 Philadelphia minted Yosemite quarter. I prefer to say Yosemite but I've been dropped on my head a few times as a child. Have you ever been to Yosemite National Park? Drop me a comment and let me know if, if you've ever visited Yosemite or any of the other national parks fe featured on our quarters. This Yosemite quarter was struck on a Jeff Urson nickel planchet and sold for $2,880. Now we've talked about clad coins and silver coins. How about a little gold? This 2015 $50 gold eagle was indented by a plastic fragment that was retained. You can see where the indentation from the plastic fragment is on the obverse of the coin. The reverse looks untouched. If you look at the plastic fragment, you can see the coin design was partially printed on the piece of plastic. This is an amazing error to have in a collection, and it was purchased by someone at auction for $9,600. If you want to take a look at some of my cool quarter finds while coin roll hunting, take a look at the short playlist to the right. Thanks for watching. Mint Miser. Oat.